Hey everyone, welcome to the Movie Throne. I'm your host, the one and only King Kansas, here to bring you a brand new Review Vault episode your way. Yes, you heard me right. In this first ever video, moving forward guys, in 2022, and from this moment, this is the format that I'm going to go with. I'm going to do a whole bunch of reviews. There'll be special reviews or review week that I'm going to drop five episodes one week just because, and there'll be other weeks just one. So it depends on how I feel and what my schedule's like. And I'll bring content your way on a regular basis. But it's basically reviews, TV and movie reviews coming your way. So what's up? The Wheel of Time starring Rosamund Pike, Daniel Henney, Madeline Madden, Zoe Robbins, Joshua Stradowski, and Marcus Rutherford. It's loosely based on the books that are written. Guys, I have not watched or read anything. I have no clue. Went into this blind. As you guys know earlier, I checked out the first three episodes and did my first thoughts on it. And actually, I liked what I saw. It was enough for me to continue to watch the remainder five episodes and then bring you my final thoughts here with the finale and the season itself, right? But uh, yeah, so that's the main cast, guys. Rosemond Pike plays Moraine. She's like the, I guess, very powerful mage wizard whatever you want to call her she has spells and she has powers she tracked down these five kids basically in the middle of nowhere gathers them up believes that one of these is the dragon reborn and the dragon reborn is this important character in their time that can stop evil itself and it either is gonna kill them or you know save them basically depending on what happens with this final fight? And one of these guys have the powers. And trust me, one of them does have the powers. And no surprise, the person you probably thought was going to be it is it. I'm just going to tell you that without spoiling anything. Uh, the other ones are along for the ride. Everybody has a different powers and the way it comes up. You've got your baddies in the woods that, you know, he hunts these kind of people down and add, you know, trophies to his collection. Like their rings and shit like that. I'm telling you. Cool moments in this and some not so cool, some cheesy moments, but the special effects are great. The actors are good. Whoever's involved is great. There's a little bit of everything for everybody. Uh, it's not for your kids. It's uh, TV 16, I think I'm not mistaken. It's on Prime Video. It started November 18th and it ended literally today. Eight episodes in total. It's directed by Uda Bressenweitz. you know, but uh, she did a good job. The plot was basic, guys. It's just this lady finds these kids takes them for an adventure trying to figure out which of these ones by testing them is this dragon reborn character and trust me there's a lot of like misleads in here and there and you also get some origins and some backstories to some of these kids and some of these kids they get some other unique powers or they reveal them to everybody that they cast spells and shit one has something to do with wolves and i'll just leave it at that um marcus rutherford's character perrin he's pretty cool when you meet other characters, uh, there's like these orcs, I want to call them, that are bad people that work for the other guys. And I'm telling you, everybody wants everything. There is your epic battles and and everything that tied up in a nice little bow in this one. Kind of you get uh, Lord of the Rings vibes and a little bit of The Witcher, but not on the same level in any way, in my personal opinion. No knock on the actors of Rosam and Pike. It just, I don't know, it just didn't feel on the same level. Not that I say that it had to be. It's still enjoyable. But not in the quality, but the special effects there. Story's okay. It's not flushed out properly at times. You kind of like, and eh, did it really need to be eight episodes? Could have just been six and you'd be fine? Probably. Um, but the finale itself, two guys, like I I had enough to watch the first three and kind of say, you know, I want to follow this. And then you kind of lose yourself a little bit. And then it's kind of like, do we really need this episode? And then they could have just skipped over a couple and just get to the last two, three. Because me personally, I think the strongest episodes for me personally are probably the last three. Because that's when the story starts to pick up and you kind of find out, okay, where's this stuff going, right? And it goes. Um, the final battle is like lackluster. It's like, that's it. That's all it was. He was trying to get, like, trying to trick him to pick the dark side and he kind of figures it out. And I don't know. And the bad guy just disappears. You know, he's coming back. There's going to be a sequel. There's a season two, trust me. Um, and then one of the characters that she thought it was going to be is, ends up going with her alone because you don't want to kill everybody else because the only way you're going to find out if they die, they're not it, right, kind of thing. And, like, I don't know. like And then 
she kind of, something happens to Rosamund Pike's character at the end, which is like, okay, so this is what she's going to have to deal with season two. The one character who survives this ordeal ends up going on his own, but he's telling her, uh, please tell them that I died so nobody will find them because he doesn't want his powers to kind of like turn neg negatively against them and hurt them in any way. And there's one person that he is very close to. So I'll leave it at that. And she gets found and then they go and then he walks off and you can kind of see the background on this. Look. A lot of cool effects. Don't get me wrong, guys. Gates and shit like that. Stuff like I would be interested in you guys too. Um, and then near the end, holy shit, there's a whole bunch of boats. Let's just say that. And uh, big tsunami heads towards the shore. And there's a little girl there. And that's where it cuts off. And you're like, season two? I hope it's better. But you know what? It might pull a Witcher on you. Like, season one was good, and then season two was really good at The Witcher. Maybe we're going to get the same thing here. And like I said, I don't know how the books are and where it picks up or who the people who showed up are. I have no clue. But what I saw was good enough to say, you know what? I didn't feel like I wasted eight hours of my life, to tell you the truth. And I don't think you will feel that way either. And if you're a fan of the books, by all means, please come back in the comment section. Tell the king, how does it really stand up to the book, the material? Because... I don't want a, a, a page by page or a book by book uh, adaptation because then it ruins it for you. What's the point of watching if you know what's going to happen, right? It's stupid. If it, you know, add a little bit more and makes it more enriching for all you guys, let the king know in the comment sections. But I like what I saw. I like that's for me. The main thing is I didn't feel like I wasted eight hours. I was let down. I was expecting a little bit more at the end, but maybe that's how it's supposed to end because something else kicks in and that's when the shit really kicks in gear. I don't know, but I like what I saw. I'm glad that you're coming back with season two. You guys leave me your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. So there you go, guys. That's my quick, simple review vault review on The Wheel of Time season one starring Rosamund Pike and a whole bunch of other amazing characters on Prime Video. So go check it out yourself and let me know in the comment section. So until then, have yourself all a good and safe Merry Christmas. And I'll see you guys here next week. And... I'll figure out the schedule when content's going to drop. But for the most part, stay off the king strong. Go eat your turkey. Share your presents. And be the hell good or Santa's going to take back all your gifts. That's all I have to say, you little kids. Till then, be good, guys.